Oh yeah, situation. that's situation. That's so, solid. Yeah, I think when they're holding on for dear life, it's probably not gonna be a good thing. So it's Sunday, and tomorrow we leave for Baja. So <laughs> last night, Brian and I decided to be a great idea to buy some heap of shit that's gonna be really difficult to make it the entire 1,000. So we bought the cheapest running Baja bug we could find. So it's Sunday morning, and uh, last night at like 10.30, Brian hit me up and was like, let's go buy this thing tomorrow so we can go to Baja. So we woke up really early in the morning, drove down to Orange County, and uh, we show up here. The thing we wanna buy looks pretty good, but uh, the dude who's selling it isn't here, and his friend doesn't have the keys or the title, and the owner just doesn't wanna answer his phone. So we drove all the way down here, and we don't know if we could even buy something that we want, that we don't even know we want, but look at it. So before you drive anything a couple thousand miles, the main thing you wanna look for is how much dry rot the tires have on them. And the more the better, just because it helps uh, helps with grip out in tough terrain because it's just like extra tread, you know? Secondly, you always wanna make sure your electrical system is working properly. So, you know, just go through the wiring diagrams here. <laughs> and always, when you're in the middle of nowhere, if you're driving through like a really, you know, if you're just driving through a sketchy part of Mexico, the one thing you wanna have is a massive fuel tank. Something that could hold like three, four <laughs> gallons even. <laughs> this is gonna be a fun trip. <laughs> what do you know about these? <laughs> this looks like a master cylinder. It's got brake master cylinders <laughs> instead of instead of engines. This is where we admit that we're not really uh, air cooled Volkswagen guys. Hey, pop the hood. Pop, pop the hood. Honestly, I mean, I didn't even need to look at it. I just saw this exhaust and was like, let's buy it. <laughs> it's ready to roll. So we've owned the shit bug for about seven or eight hours now and uh, Ryan already did not waste any time in looking up parts that we could do a disc brake conversion. Well, it's because only one drum works currently and that just didn't really seem safe. So, you know, safety first. So disc brake conversion. I went over to this place called SoCal Imports and like, I gotta be honest with you, I'm not really an air-cooled guy. And I told the guy, hey, we're going to try to take a car that we bought for 2,500 bucks to Baja. And this is all you needed? <laughs> this is like a, a joke <laughs> amount of parts. <laughs> what parts do you think we need? And this is what he gave us. Simplicity is pretty right. dope. And I'm sure that there's a lot of people out there who I like, like air-cooled bugs. I saw it like, is there any specialty tools we need? Like anything weird? He's like, oh uh, yeah, just the clutch, uh, <laughs> the clutch alignment tool. He's like, that's the only specialty tool. In the I don't know how worried I should be that he gave us a clutch alignment tool that we might have to use on no the side clutch. of the road. <laughs> no clutch. Well, he said the two, two guys, it's four bolts, so you can pull the motor off. Well, the kid we, we bought it from was like, I could have this engine out and in, in 15 minutes. And I sort of believe him. Hey Dan, I like that you got to work real quick on making some wiring mounts. You look like you've been killing it, man. Woo! Those look sick. Yeah. He's not a zip tie guy. He's... Probably one of the first things that needs to go so you don't catch on fire. <laughs> I noticed it's pretty worn through on that side. Well, you know, because right here there's a lot of clearance between where the tire this, is. Uh, nice chrome right there, but I, I'm, I'm seeing that's probably where the tire is going to rub. <laughs> Why do I also feel like, and I'm just pointing this out here, but why not, doesn't it feel like there should be supports that go here or something? Nah. Like this looks like it would really so bend really out? easy. Yeah. Whatever, we'll figure it out. I think there might be a need a little support on the whole front end with the lights. Man, those welds look nice. They're beautiful, yeah. Yeah. Wow. Wow, those are boogers. I'm nice not stuff a great behind. welder, but that's really bad. <laughs> that's, that's, that's exceptionally really bad. bad. You left us some extra wire. Oh, so, so we could get yeah. started on just buttoning that right back up. Just line it on up. Oh my gosh. So Vin, you're gonna ride and in this way, too? This, this We're gonna drive this thing. I think a front brake conversion is for this thing. I think it was 200 bucks, right? 179 dollars. Why do we mess I with these cars? Buy calipers. Yeah, but like the so Nile. Why do we mess? We should have more bugs. Yeah, I don't even want to talk about how much my brakes were. <laughs> Wheel bearing kit for the front. Since we're already doing, uh, since we're already doing brakes, we may as well do those. And then these are uh, cylinders for the rear drums. Apparently, these go bad a lot. And when they go bad, they just leak hydraulic fluid. Just so, yeah, here. that's probably the first thing we should get done. Yeah. These are just spares. We're gonna bring these with us. It's clutch and an accelerator cable. Oh, these bicycle cables. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when he brought them out, I was like, this sweet. Solid right Wait, now. but is this the Shimano? Yeah, those, <laughs> those are the ones Shimano that you could XDR. you could do bar spins with, and they don't bind up. Yeah. And then it's a glide. we've got. Uh, he sold me. He upsold me. 
He was like, you know, it's off road. I was like, yeah. That's and I was like, how much are they? He was like, sixteen dollars. <laughs> oh man, you really spoiled us. <laughs> well, the fact that like. You can buy Volkswagen parts, like Beetle parts, are so cheap. I don't know why everyone doesn't build these well, things. This doesn't split right here out there. What? That was worth sixteen dollars. Yeah. <laughs> Who's driving this? Take the stock ones and bring them with us. Oh yeah. So, um, then. Did you get any new? Uh, you didn't get any new Brake Master cylinder reservoirs? <laughs> those are the. Can courts. we do? Can we do a real time? How long it so, takes to change those? Okay. So why? Like, so why are these here? Why do they have this? For quick valve adjustment. No, for off road. You'll, you may hit them, and it would actually pop them off instead of ripping them off. Oh, okay. So all the off-road guys, this is what the guy, this is what the guy at SoCal Imports told me, is that the reason that they run the like Brake Master style clip instead of the bolts, because they make bolts for them. Oh, okay. Too, is in off-road, if you end up hitting something, it's better that the cap pops off than it just- Yeah, I'm, I'm all into rockets. that. I'd way rather have something you don't have to spin a wrench on. You don't even have to use an impact gun. Just pop it right just off. Just pop it with your hand. Yeah. Then uh, an extra, new belt. extra fan belt, so. I wouldn't even change this, let's just bring it. No, 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 just bring spare. it. I think the so. steering wheel's a bit of an issue too. And then, uh, fall off. yeah, yeah, so, that one. Well, that he didn't have the new bushings for it. There's like new bearings for it. And yeah. they didn't Actually, what I think it is, is just uh, the hub itself is it's not bad. Bad. tightened down. Okay. I think it just needs a washer. Yeah. So. Yeah, something let's try to fix that. That, would, that makes it feel really sketchy on the road. Because the wheels will turn and nothing happens to the steering wheel. Yeah. It just has too much play. Yeah. So you'll hit a bump and the car will do this, but the steering wheel's still straight. And you're way towed in in the car anyway. So every I was gonna say, a quick eyeball cool. alignment would probably help out this thing a lot. Hey Nads, what do you think about this this thing? What could possibly go wrong, honestly? You know? Runs, but is it Scotto's will it make it 3,000 miles in Mexico? <laughs> is this like, is this like, does the winner drive this or the loser drives this one? Yeah, I don't know. It's sort of, it's a good point. It's kind of like a punishment, but also really fun. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Hey, Rob. Hey. What do you think about this thing? Oh my God. When the f did you drop this thing off? We bought it yesterday. That's funny. And now we have it, have it be running by the end of the day Baja. today. And you're going to Baja. Yeah. We're going to Baja. Thanks for the gift of stuff here. I'll try and put it on for you. Can't promise it won't light on fire though. I'd help you, but uh, we got to go to Palm Springs to go pick up two Raptors. Oh, so the whole reason we got this thing was because we the Raptors fell through, and then the Raptors came back together this morning. Isn't that Murphy's so, Law? So we've got I mean, this, of course, and two Raptors. Well, I guarantee you that this thing ends Raptors up being its own level of fun. The Raptors might be pulling that, or that might be pulling the Raptors. <laughs> we do have a tow bar for this thing, so. Perfect. That's gonna be great. But, what was these, that? These weren't all the way, they are all the way adjusted in, so there's plenty of room for them to come out. So, part of the reason that it was stopping funny is that the rear wasn't working at all. So you can see that the, wasn't there's, touching no, like anywhere. there's nothing touching, yeah. So, yeah. it's fresh there, and they drove it 60 mile an hour yesterday, hit the brakes, and it veered right, so oh my, it was the only one that was working. Oh my god. So, yeah. Well, let's put some disc brakes on this bad boy. I'm gonna be here for a couple hours to help out, and then I gotta fly back to, to Utah to look at my trailer that got broke into and my truck that got broke into. So, exciting. Exciting day. What are you doing, Don? Basically just finished up the front end of this thing. It really wasn't too bad. New lines, new calipers, new rotors, new wheel bearings. It should be great. Now I'm gonna move to the rear and hopefully get this kind of in shape. Just need to replace things here like the bearings and uh, these little slave cylinders. To do that, just uh, pop the line free, pop a bolt out right here, and it's basically it. We'll have to spread these apart here. And then after all is said and done, we'll need to adjust this right here to get the pads to move out. Maybe take me another hour or so to get this all done. And then brakes will finally be done. So the car will be stopping and then we'll move on to other yeah, semi-important things. <laughs> So, just finished up, got everything replaced that we needed to. Hard to see now, but we have a new slave cylinder in here. All I have to do is bleed the brakes and our new braking system will be done. And from there, 
we're gonna move on to the steering, hopefully fix a little bit of play in there so you can keep, uh, keep the wheel straight. Really loose, dangerous. So I'm gonna take this off, uh, see if it can have any adjustment, maybe throw a spacer in there or weld it, whatever we have to do because this is the last day. First and last day we get to work on it. So while investigating the steering problem, I found one of my biggest pet peeves, which is the three bolts that are held to the hub were all three different sizes, different thread pitch. So they're driving me crazy there. So I tapped out the hub and I made them all the same and replaced those bolts. And then also this nut, which holds the hub to the steering itself, was very loose. I made a washer for that, had to uh, take it down in the drill press and now it's back to sturdy so you can actually steer the car again. And from there, we're gonna go change the oil, some of the seals and make sure it's not gonna leak and that can uh, hold up to some abuse. Then I'm gonna take care of some of this nasty wiring problem and also the fuel running over in a pretty bad area here where if it arced off of any of these, we'd have a fire. It's getting late, but not too bad. Still got some time left. Quickly doing an oil change. I don't know when the last time it was changed since they just bought this yesterday. Nothing else really to change since it's air-cooled. We will see what has to be done with the wiring in this junk up here. It needs to be tucked away and uh, re-loomed. It's pretty, uh, pretty horrible. And I'd like to try it out and drive down the street and see how the brakes are. Then we can decide what is important. We will still have to do this big light bar so the guys can see at night. Then the next few hours here we should be done. What's well, I don't have an update because I was working today, but Dan over here probably has more of a clue of what's going on. Dan, the oh, look at that wiring. Look at this. Yeah. Like rich, the rich shit. Brakes all replaced, brand new. Uh, yeah, it looks like it came out of a Saturn cast block. What are your thoughts on this thing and going to Baja? Right now, I mean, it's gonna run and drive and stuff. Yeah. Not well, but like they'll do but it. Not, it'll yeah. do it. Yeah. But yeah, as far as I was concerned, I think it would be the Baja 1000 feet. Well, it's not going to go on the on the race course. <laughs> yeah. It's just going to go on the chase road, which, yeah, which is still probably pretty shitty. Yeah, you guys want to take bets on like how far in this thing will break down I say and have to drag it? To the 100%. Actually, scratch that, it won't because we'll get way too impatient because we're going to be doing like 20 miles an hour on this and then we ditch it and get in the Raptors and rip it down there. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully make it to Mexico. I'm glad we got spares. You know, we definitely brought a spare tire and it looks like it's uh, definitely the right size. Yeah, totally. It's definitely hard to get to. Is that cam guard? Yeah, they use it in like airplanes and stuff. Oh, to, like For stuff that sits for a really long time and then like opens up, so. They use it in like aircrafts and stuff because they sit for a long time, so it like prevents corrosion. But he was saying that like it's good because, I don't know, like treats seals and helps things like not break down. So I was like, man, all of our cars literally just sit and then get the shit kicked out of them. So like that'll probably work great. So I just like scoffed up a bunch of bottles and brought them home. Nice. <laughs> Three fingers, that's how we're gonna do it. Three fingers and like one finger. That's so like- What's that math? Three fingers, basically. I don't, I don't think it's math, it's just counting. <laughs> One finger. It's like going like this and going. I mean, you guys put tape and put it on like that. I would have just eyeballed the whole thing. Yeah, I know, Vin, but that's why you're, you're unique. Uh, that's I'm, why you're holding application. I'm terrible at stickers, that's why. It's one way not to do it anymore. So, this is a dusty circus to begin with. So. We didn't even wipe it down. It's, it's so bad, bad. And, all, and all. So we skipped the first and most important step. Oh, now it's Baja ready. No, 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 no. How many gears is this bad boy? Four. Really? Yeah. Four on the floor? Four on the floor. What do you think about this? Oh, that's so rad. T, can I you tell us what time. day and time it is right now? No. It's uh, Monday, 7.15 p.m. We have a 5 a.m. call time, which is 10 hours from now. Super ready to rock. So, <laughs> RTR. <laughs> Were there seats in it at some point? There were. Ooh, now we got hooked up. This old red top. Yo, I like how you uh, you still use the penny in the battery terminal. Yeah. That dude smashed that in in front of us. He was like, oh, "I'll shim this." Dude, I just smashed it into the wrench. Nice. You'll fit in just fine here. <laughs> 
It's a carpet. Battery shim. Mount shim. It's all this. There's so much extra wire in this car that if we needed to flat tow it, we could just use like an abundance of 16 gauge wire to just to just tow strap it up. Wire harness works so great like a grappling hook too, <laughs> if you ever need to. What the is that? It's a roller wheel. Oh, come check what it out. What in the world? I've never seen it in my life. <laughs> what, is, what the hell is that? You could tell how much... You could tell how in-depth Brian and I looked at this car when we bought it yesterday. Whoa! That was literally the first thing I saw. That's oh, these that. are so dope! Oh, that's fucking awesome! Is that the mount for the gas tank? Holy shit, that rules! Ah! Oh, wow. So good! There's just like 12 inch long sheet metal screws just coming through. Ah, oh, this thing is so legit. It gets better and better. Yeah, this thing is so tight. Well, that's it. So, uh, 10 hours from now, we're gonna leave and drive this friggin' thing uh, to Ensenada and then to La Paz, Mexico, or as far as we can get, so. And back. Yeah, and then it has to make it back. So, it's roughly 3,000 miles. So, uh, I don't know, watch us struggle on our journey and then uh, we were gonna do a little build breakdown on it, but we didn't have time, so maybe it'll do that in the future if it even makes it back. I mean, it's pretty broke down right now. Yeah. <laughs> Comment below if you think this thing makes it back here or if we just leave it in Mexico. 10 o'clock at night. <laughs> Leaving tomorrow at uh, 5 a.m. We're still, we're still at the day before. We're not in the day of. Yeah, we're not even at the day of yet. Welcome home. Ah, oh, God. I love it. <laughs>